the broadcast of the regular meeting of the Planning Commission will now begin. Hello everyone and welcome to the regular meeting of the City of Minneapolis Planning Commission for uh, Monday, May 24th, 2021. My name is Raya Smiley and uh, I'm the president of this commission. I will be chairing the meeting today. Um, as we begin, I want to again remind everyone that this meeting has a remote participation by members of uh, the City Council and staff as authorized under Minnesota statutes. Section 13 D 21 due to the declared local public health emergency. The meeting will be recorded and posted on city's website and the YouTube channel. Um, and the meeting is sub is public and subject to Minnesota open meeting law. Um, at this time, I will ask the clerk to please call the roll to uh, make sure that we have quorum. Commissioner Boxley. Present. Commissioner Caprini. Commissioner Smiley. Here. Commissioner Ford. Here. Commissioner Marwa. Commissioner McGuire. Commissioner Meyer. Here. Commissioner Olson. Commissioner Schrader. Here. Commissioner Sweezy. And I know we had a few folks who are still coming, so I'll cycle through again. Uh, Commissioner Caprini. Commissioner Mar Marwa. Here. Under. Commissioner McGuire. Commissioner Olson. And Commissioner Sweezy. Okay, so I show five members present. Uh, thank you, and I know that Commissioner McGuire is uh, probably going to be calling in um, to um, that, and then at that point we will have quorum. Is that correct? Can you, can someone confirm that? That we would need um, one more member. According to our published agenda, our quorum is five members. Um, okay. Although um, I was surprised because that is technically just at 50%. Um, so I, um, Ken or, or Kimberly, would either of you be willing to correct me? I'm pulling up the bylaws right now, but I um, give me one moment. Thank you. I was kind of um, uh, having a hard time remembering what our bylaws say because the 50% <laughs> didn't make sense either. Um, this is Ken Daler from the clerk's office. I'm also looking it up as Kimberly is. I have heard a few more people call in. So if there are any additional commissioners who have just joined while we're looking it up, please um, make yourselves known. Any of the commissioners who weren't here for the roll call originally? Hello, this is Commissioner McGuire. I am on the call. Sorry about that. Perfect. Glad to have you with us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have uh, with Commissioner McGuire, we have six members of the commission present. Is that correct? Can you please confirm? Yes, uh, Chair Smiley. So we do have at least six members, possibly others joining us later, but we definitely have quorum to continue the meeting. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> okay, uh, so let the record reflect that a quorum is now present. Um, with that, we will proceed to the agenda. A copy of it was posted uh, on the city's website on uh, the legislative information management system. It's that is available at limbs.minneapolismn.gov. We will begin with the acceptance of the minutes of um, our meeting um, of May 10th, 2021. Do I have a motion to accept those minutes?
Commissioner Meyer. So moved. And Commissioner Marwa. Second. Thank you. A motion has been made and seconded for the adoption of the minutes of our last uh, meeting. Is there any discussion? OK, um, not hearing anything. I will ask the clerk to please call the roll on that motion. Motion for the minutes. All right, uh, Commissioner Baxley. Yay. Commissioner Caprini. Aye. Ford. Aye. Commissioner Marwa. Aye. Commissioner McGuire. Aye. Commissioner Meyer. Aye. Commissioner Olson. Commissioner Schrader. Aye. Commissioner Sweezy. That's seven members yay. Okay, perfect. Did, did I actually say yay? <laughs> I didn't, I apologize. Um, you're right, uh, Chair Smiley. I forgot. <laughs> I was um, distracted. So yes, Chair Smiley votes uh, yay. So then that would yes. be eight yes. yays. Thank you very much for that correction. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Our uh, next order of business is to organize the public hearing uh, agenda. Again, the agenda was posted on LIMS, and I will read through the agenda numbers and addresses, and we will state whether or not that item has been uh, recommended by staff for consent or discussion uh, or continuance, uh, as, and as such. Uh, consent items uh, I would like to mention quickly are those that uh, we they will be passed without any additional discussion uh, according to staff's recommendation. Um, and if you do agree with that recommendation, you don't need to do anything and uh, the consent item will move forward with that recommendation. Um, if you disagree with that recommendation, uh, please speak up and indicate that you would like to speak against the staff recommendation. In that case, we will put that item on for our discussion uh, part of the agenda. OK, well, with that, the following items uh, are uh, on our agenda for this evening. Um, item number four, 525 Casota Avenue. Staff is recommending this item for consent. Is there anyone to speak against this item? If you are here to speak against staff recommendation, uh, you just need to press star six to unmute yourself and indicate that you would like to speak against the staff recommendation. Um, hello, I think I heard something. This is Mark speaking, can you hear me? Yes. All right. Uh, I may or may not be jumping in at the right time, but I, I just wanted to comment, not speak against. Is that okay at this time? Um, if you are not going to speak against it and um, are okay with the staff recommendation, you don't need to uh, comment right now. We will come back. There's a period that you can comment on the consent items altogether, so that would be the right time to do that. Okay, I'm good for now, thanks. Okay, perfect. Anyone um, else who is potentially here to speak against item number four's um, staff recommendation, which is approval of the extent expansion of a non-conforming application? Okay, uh, item number four is put on consent. Item number five, 2648 Marshall Street Northeast. Staff is recommending for this item to be continued to the next cycle. So that will be the next, um, our June meeting, I believe is on June 14, 2021. So item number six is um, 100 and 104 Franklin Avenue West. Staff is recommending this item also for consent. Is there anyone to speak against the staff's recommendation? Star six unmutes you. Okay. 
Not hearing anyone. Um, item number six is also put on consent. Um, item number seven. Three. Um, Three one zero three twenty four four hundred and four sixteen thirty seventh Avenue Northeast uh, and thirty six hundred Fifth Street Northeast. Staff is recommending this item also for consent. Is there anyone to speak against this item? Star six unmutes you. If you are here to speak against staff's recommendation for item number seven, uh, please speak up now and star six unmutes. Let me give it a few seconds. Okay, not hearing anyone. Item number seven is also put on consent. Item number eight. Um, sorry, uh, 4805 and dash 31, 39. Oh my God, sorry. Uh, Lindo Avenue North. Staff is re recommending this item also for consent. Is there anyone to speak against this item? Again, 4805 through 39, Lindo Avenue North. Anyone to speak against the item as the staff recommends? You can press star six to unmute yourself. If you are pressing star six to unmute yourself and it's not working, it may have it may be your phone itself that is unmute. Um, anyone speaking against number eight? Item eight. OK, well, not hearing anyone. Item number eight is also put on consent. So as we have our agenda, items number uh, four, six, seven and eight are put on consent and um, item number five will be continued. Can I have a motion to approve the agenda as amended? Commissioner McGuire. I motion to approve the agenda as noted. Thank you. A motion has been made. Is there a second? Uh, Commissioner Marwa? Second. Thank you. A motion has been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? OK, hearing um, none. I ask the clerk to please call the roll on that motion. Commissioner Baxley. Yay. Commissioner Caprini. Aye. Commissioner Ford. Aye. Commissioner Marwa. Aye. Commissioner McGuire. Aye. Commissioner Meyer. Aye. Commissioner Olson. Commissioner Schre Oh, uh, Commissioner Olson, was that you? Yes, that was an aye. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Glad to have you with us. Commissioner Thanks. Schrader. Aye. Commissioner Sweezy. Aye. And Commissioner Smiley. Aye. Uh, 10 yeas and zero nays. Great. Uh, so that uh, motion passes and, and the agenda has been approved as amended. Um, we will now proceed to uh, the consent agenda. I will be opening the public hearing for the consen consent agenda before we actually take any action uh, on it. Uh, so I am now opening the public hearing on the consent agenda. Is there anyone who would like to speak to items number four, six, seven, and eight? This would be uh, the time if you want to speak to uh, support any item as well. Uh, star six unmutes you. 
If you do like to speak, please uh, state your name, address, and then continue with your comment. Yes, this is Mark. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Mark, yep, this is Mark Powers, uh, 2578 Casota Avenue, St. Paul, Minnesota, 55108. Uh, and I wanted to, um, this is in regards to item four at 525 Casota Avenue. And uh, one, I wanted to uh, to thank uh, Lindsay Silas, who um, was just great help in sharing the plans uh, that were put forth on this uh, item number uh, with us and also putting us in touch with our neighbors uh, who submitted this petition, uh, who also were incredibly uh, helpful uh, and spent some time with me uh, last week late uh, to uh, work through uh, their plans uh, for next door to us uh, and agreeing to uh, address our concerns, of which we don't have any anymore. Uh, they did a great job uh, being prompt in, in addressing those. Uh, may or may not be in the right place here to mention just uh, one thing to the city, uh, and that's that uh, the intersection of Casota Avenue and Highway 280 uh, being a, a tractor trailer uh, uh, company uh, operator uh, ourselves, uh, we can recognize that especially during rush hour, uh, it's badly in need of stoplights and traffic control. Uh, so I wanted to, to throw out that with just uh, you know any bit of increased congestion in the area, it'll be even more important that uh, the city consider uh, putting in some traffic control lights uh, so that the highway doesn't back up. Uh, while traffic heads east and west on Casota, it's very difficult uh, to exit or enter the highway there. Thank you very much for your comments. And um, I hope that staff took note of that comments as well. Is there anyone else who would like to speak to any of the items that are on the consent agenda? Star six unmutes you and then please uh, continue with your name address and your comment. Well, my name is. Um, hello, sorry, I heard you for like a half a second. I'm sorry, this is Paul Miller. Yes, And I, I just want, I don't know if this is the right time, but I just want to chirp in and thank the staff. I'm, I'm located with the 4805 Lindale, 4839 Lindale project. And I just wanted to thank the staff for the time. That's the only comment I want to make. That is always great to hear. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, and this is the right time to, to say that. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody. So thank you very much. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Anyone else uh, who is here to speak to any of the items that are on the consent agenda? Um, that would be items number four, six, seven, and eight. You can press star six to unmute yourself. Yes, my name is Derek Reed um, regarding item six at 100 and 104 Franklin Avenue West. Um, I am the applicant and just wanted to take a moment to thank everyone for their time and consideration on this matter. And we look forward to bringing something unique to the city. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else who would like to speak um, at this moment on the consent agenda items? Okay, hearing no one else, I will now close the public hearing for the consent agenda. Now, do I have a motion to adopt the consent agenda, which includes item, items four, six, seven, and eight on the agenda? Do I have a motion? Commissioner McGuire. I motion to adopt the consent agenda. Thank you. Motion has been made. Is there a second? Commissioner Marwa? Second. Thank you. Motion has been made and seconded. Is there any discussion on the consent agenda? Commissioner Ford. Thank you. Um, I have a question for staff. Um, this involves a warehouse. I'm sorry, this is number six or seven, I believe. The warehouse uh, 
at 37th Avenue Northeast. I haven't got my agenda in front of me, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, I, the question I have regarding that project um, is, do, does, do we know how many jobs are going, will be on this site? Is that part of what you, you find out from looking at this issue? Uh, thank you, President Ismaili, uh, Commissioner Ford. The, what's stated in the travel demand management plan is kind of on the high end of transportation. And so it would be 37 truck trips in, 37 truck trips out would be the maximum as stated in the travel demand management. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I, apparently I misspoke. I'm, so I'm asking about the, um, the uh, 37th Avenue Northeast project. I think it's number seven, am I correct? Yes, Somewhere. it is. That's the okay. oldest project. Yeah. Thank you. So now, as I understand it, it's going to be a warehouse distribution center. Um, and I'm wondering if uh, we know how many jobs will be created on that site. I'm sorry, I misheard you. I thought you said drops, jobs. We do <laughs> not have we do not know the tenants yet, so we are not aware of the, the job pr uh, production that's intended for the site. The uh, applicant intends to have the space flexible to secure at least one tenant, if not um, maybe potentially more than one tenant in the building. Thank you. Let, can, let me ask a question then. Um, uh, in my time at uh, CPED and then actually the MCDA, we had a, a policy with regards to selling city owned land. We had a policy of uh, not favoring uh, warehouses because of the, uh, the scarcity of city land that we owned. Uh, it was available for industrial use and, uh, and, and the, the lack of them, you know, the few jobs that are usually on a, involved with a warehousing facility. Is there, is there any consideration, and I understand there's a distinction between the city selling its land uh, and uh, the zoning uh, and, uh, and planning requirements. Um, is there any consideration though uh, in uh, the zoning code for uh, re regarding uh, you know, uh, getting adequate job creation out of the, the, our, our scarcer and scarcer industrial land? Um, I would say, generally speaking, yes. So this particular property has a future land use designation of production and processing, which would not allow for residential uses or a change in the zoning classification to a, a district that would allow residential uses. So it would intentionally remain industrial. The property is presently zoned I-1 light industrial. Um, that's largely due to the proximity to residential to the east and then also to the north across 37th into Columbia Heights. So as far as um, the additional policies that are there, that that's what's really specific to this site um, as far as retaining industrial property. I-1 is, is a fairly flexible um, industrial zoning where there are a number of uses that are permitted or conditional. Um, and once tenants are identified, we may they may have to come back through the planning commission for a conditional use permit and we'll further evaluate any impacts that that potential use has. As designed, the applicant is trying to create as much flexibility as possible to ensure um, sufficient office spaces for uh, several uh, staff persons and then also um, on-site production certainly would be allowed in the I-1 district, um, but they also wanted to make sure that they were um, presenting them the project in a way that was clear and, and um, concise re regarding the truck traffic. So that's why you see that conditional use permit applied for today, the additional analysis through the travel demand management plan. I'll also note that uh, the property is not controlled by the city of Minneapolis. Right, um, it's, right. there's, a, there's a purchase agreement with Hennepin County and there was um, an RFP process where there was a previous applicant um, that was awarded exclusive development rights over a year ago that did not pursue um, their project. So that, that came to our committee of the whole, I believe it was in 2018, uh, maybe 2019. So um, Opus was the most uh, recent app, uh, award winner of the, the RFP and, and this is the project that they have found to be um, 
worthy of going forward on the purchase agreement. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Is there any other uh, discussion on um, the adoption of the consent agenda? Um, okay, well, uh, seeing none, a motion has been made and seconded, and I will ask the clerk to please call the roll on that motion. Commissioner Baxley. Yay. Commissioner Caprini. Aye. Commissioner Ford. Aye. Commissioner Marwa. Aye. Commissioner McGuire. Aye. Commissioner Meyer. Aye. Commissioner Olson. Aye. Commissioner Schrader. Aye. Commissioner Sweezy. Aye. Commissioner Ismaili. Aye. That's 10 yeas and zero nays. Thank you. That motion passes and the consent agenda items are um, adopted. Oh, if you were here for items number four, six, seven, and eight, um, the applications have moved forward according to staff uh, recommendations on the items. Now, uh, moving on to our next item, which is item number five, which is recommended for continuance to the next cycle, um, which is on uh, June 14th, uh, 2021. That is the next uh, meeting of the Planning Commission. Before I actually take a motion on that item to, um, to continue it to the next cycle, uh, I will be opening the public hearing for this item. This is item number five, 2648 Marshall Street Northeast. If you are here to speak to this item and you are unable to make it to the next Planning Commission meeting on June 14th, please speak up right now on this item. Otherwise, if you can make it to the next meeting, you can just do that at that meeting as this uh, item will be on the agenda. So with that, I'm opening the public hearing on item number five, 2648 Marshall Street Northeast. Is there anyone to speak on this item? Star six unmutes you and you can um, just continue with your name, address and comment. Anyone for item number five? Okay, not hearing anything. I am now closing the public hearing on item number five. Uh, so now I will be taking a motion on that item to continue it to the next cycle. Commissioner Meyer. I move to continue item five to June 14th. Thank you, a motion has been made. Is there a second? Second. Was Ford. that Commissioner Ford? Okay. Thank you, Commissioner Ford. A uh, motion has been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Okay, see, uh, hearing none, uh, I now ask the clerk to please call the roll on that motion. Commissioner Baxley. Yay. Commissioner Caprini. Aye. Commissioner Ford. Aye. Commissioner Marwa. Aye. Commissioner McGuire. Aye. Commissioner Meyer. Aye. Commissioner Olson. Aye. Commissioner Schrader. Aye. Commissioner Sweezy. Aye. And Chair Smiley. Aye. That's 10 yeas and zero nays. Great, thank you. And with that, that uh, motion passes and item number five will be continued to uh, the next uh, Planning Commission meeting on June 14th. That concludes our agenda. 
Are there any announcements from staff? No announcements today, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, so with that, we have completed all the items on the agenda for this meeting. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the agendas, you, agenda items, you can uh, reach out to staff. Um, the next meeting of uh, the Planning Commission will be on Monday, June 14, 2021, and our next uh, Committee of the Whole meeting will be on Thursday, May 27, 2021. So with that, if there's no objection, I declare this meeting adjourned. Thank you, any, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Take Good care, night. folks. Thank you. Bye.